In an interesting development, Google DeepMind has released this new research which is called as Mixture of Depths. We all have heard of Mixture of Experts, but this one is different. Google DeepMind has come up with this new Mixture of Depths or MOD, boosting processing speed by up to 50% in tasks like natural language processing and complex sequence predictions. Most of the compute these days is wasted because not all tokens are equally hard to predict. But this new approach dynamically allocates computation in transformer models, optimizing resource usage while ensuring accuracy. It also processes complex tokens selectively and skips simpler ones, cutting computational overhead significantly. If you go through this paper, this architectural diagram is quite interesting. As in mixture of expert or MOE transformers, we use a router to choose among potential computational paths, but unlike in MOE transformers, the possible choices are a standard blocks computation, that is self-attention and MLP, or a residual connection. Since some tokens take this second route, mixture of depths or MOD transformers have a smaller total flop footprint compared to vanilla or MOE transformers. On the top right on this diagram is depicted a trained model's routing decision for a short sequence truncated to 64 tokens for visualization purposes. When examining the choices, one can find tokens processed by later blocks layers, despite passing through relatively few total blocks throughout the model's depth. This is a unique feature of MOD compared to conventional halting based or early exit conditional computation, which instead engages blocks serially or vanilla transformers which engage every block. And that is where it really makes huge difference. Now, MOD checks each token's complexity within a sequence, applying computational selectively to those needing deeper processing. This strategy moves away from the traditional approach of uniformly allocating computation across all tokens. Keeping certain layers for specific tokens, MOD lowers the total floating point operations per seconds or flops needed, making computation more efficient. In this paper, they have also released a lot of performance matrices. For example, for compute saving, MOD cuts these flops by 50% during post-training sampling, marking a significant boost in efficiency. Also, for training performance, it keeps accuracy on par with baseline models while using fewer resources, proving its efficiency. MOD speeds up processing by up to 50% in certain tasks, improving model responsiveness, which is huge. Now, MOD fits smoothly with existing transformer setups, and that's a great thing, even with mixture of expert technology for even better efficiency. So it means soon, we will be seeing lot of models which will be not only mixture of experts but also mixture of depths. It uses a static computation graph ensuring predictable computer compute loads and better hardware use. The good thing is that in this paper DeepMind also provides guidance about uh, how to use it and also the source code which is really really good. Now look at this uh, routing scheme. Tokens are funneled to the computational path of their choice when using token choice routing, which is on the left hand side. If a given path exceeds its capacity, for example, more than two tokens in this, in this example, then surplus tokens must be dropped, which are the purple tokens. The exact tokens, the exact token that is ultimately dropped depend on the precise implementation in the underlying code. For example, Priority is often given to those tokens that come earlier in the sequence or batch order. With expert choice routing, which is in the middle of this diagram, precisely k, in this case two tokens are chosen per path using a top k mechanism across the token's router weights. Here tokens are dropped if they are not among the top k with respect to any given path and those are mentioned in orange. And some tokens may even be funneled to multiple paths which are the yellow tokens. They are primarily deploying expert choice routing, which is at the very right of this diagram. Because we just because the thing is that in a single path, they have leveraged 
the implicit knowledge that tokens will be dropped if k is less than the sequence length so that they can route tokens away from the self attention and mlp computations expanding fewer flops in a given for forward pass of the model and that is something which makes the difference the mixture of depth transformers empirically empirically demonstrate that one can improve on iso flops optimal baseline performance with models that use fewer flops per forward pass this means that for a given training flop budget we all can train models that are both faster and better performing than their baseline counterparts previously to train models that are both faster and as or better performing than iso flop optimal models one would have to use surplus compute to overtrain small models but with mod transformers this removes that obstacles but it require pure flops per forward pass the thing is that with this one cannot forego flops indiscriminately rather it is crucial to use learned routing decision much like in mixture of expert transformers to determine whether a token should participate in self attention and the subsequent mlp or not so the thing is that in my humble opinion soon we will be seeing models which will be both mixture of depth and mixture of expert or mode as it is described in this paper and the mode technique can be implemented alongside mixture of expert in two states of forward manner stage which implements mod machinery prior to moe machinery and integrated which uses one routing operation to funnel tokens to either experts or no op operations and this paper is full of such nuggets i would highly highly suggest that you read it because the more you read it the more you understand the underlying the intricacies and nuances of these models and how exactly you know they are doing all this magic and this is a diagram which i was talking about with both mixture of depths and mixture of experts combined uh, or the stage one or the integrated one as you can see in this diagram and this really opens up the door to lot of a mixture of depths variants that decouple the routing for queries keys and values for example perhaps a token would prefer to be among the queries but not the keys for a given self attention computation and one can easily imagine extending this idea even further into the domain of long term memory perhaps there are tokens that would be extremely valuable as keys regardless of whether it is useful for them to also be among the queries at the step of their occurrence so i think that amazing amazing research and really you know uh, impressed by these researchers who have done really good in this case and you can see that uh, this ai race is not stopping every week every day we have something new coming up so please subscribe to the channel if you want to remain abreast of what is happening in ai if you are already subscribed then please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching